Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Today I'm going to be doing a Tim Burton-esque makeup tutorial look for you guys. This is the final product, so if you are interested or wondering how I got this, keep watching and you'll find out. The first thing you want to do is grab some foundation, concealer, all that jazz, maybe a sponge to blend it all together. That's what I use. And go ahead and do your foundation base and add some powder afterwards. Now take your wet sponge or whatever you use to blend out your face and make it look good. Now take some powders to <laughs> seal in the foundation that you just put on. Now we're going to take some purples and go into the crease of our eyes. Go ahead and take some darker purples and maybe even some black or grays and darken up the crease. The next thing you want to do is grab some red eyeshadow and apply it to your lower lash line, blending it in with the purple and black eyeshadow we just blended out. Go ahead and highlight under your brows on the inner corners of your eyes on top of your cheekbones, your cupid's bow, your chin, and maybe even your forehead. Now you're going to take some liquid eyeliner and extend your inner corners of your eyes and maybe give yourself a little tiny cat eye on the ends. Next, take some mascara and if you have an eyelash curler, go ahead and use that as well and just apply a nice coat to the top and bottom lashes. Go ahead and take some powder to fill in your brows. I also have a Bob of Brown eyebrow gel with me, so I'm going to be using that on my eyebrows as well. I just mixed a few of my own lipsticks together to create a kind of purpley red, very neutral color that I will apply to my lips. So this is today's final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe some of you guys will try it out there for yourselves. Leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Put some comments down below what other videos you would like to see me do in the future. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe already. I'll see you next time. Bye.